everyone, a quick update video because Cass and I are going to another event called VR Days, which is a really um, interesting VR event that's in Amsterdam, which is only one hour away from us. And we are also showing you an interview with Benjamin De Witt, who is the festival director of VR Days. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But going back to VR Days, it's uh, as said before in a VR event, very you are going to see a lot of hardware, software and innovative projects which we are really interesting, yeah, interested about. It's also on the October 24th to 26th. Yeah. We are only going for one day on the 26th on Friday because we actually took a lot of time off for different events already. So we don't have a lot of time off anymore. Sadly. So just one day. But we are going to try and do our best to check out as many VR innovative companies as we can. Uh, the stuff that we are definitely very interested to check out is the Tesla suit, for example. So the Tesla suit actually sounds like quite amazing tech to us, since it's a fully integrated smart clothing apparel with haptic feedback, motion capture, climate control and biometric feedback systems. So that means that if you suit up, you get all that and it's. I think it will make the gaming even more immersive. So we are definitely going to try and suit up over there and try it out for you guys for the vlog and film that hopefully if, if we're allowed to. And there is also one different company that we are interested to check out which is Mainness VR. They are actually also based in the Netherlands which I didn't know but they make gloves actually. They make haptic gloves which you can wear and then you can pick up stuff in game and stuff like that. So uh, interested to check that out too. There are also a lot of different companies, but uh, we only have one day, but we are definitely going to uh, try and check out as much as we can for the vlog. The vlog will be coming about one or two weeks after VR days, so we have some time to edit. And uh, well, VR days is in two weeks itself, but yeah. uh, if you are not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for the vlog. <laughs> yes, and now moving on to the interview with Benjamin Witt, as said before, who is the, uh, the festival director of VR Days. And uh, we did the interview because we are really interested in his point of view uh, of the VR uh, industry, because he talks to a lot of innovative companies and yeah, yeah, let's move on <laughs> to the yeah, interview. And I have a few questions for you. Uh, the first of all is, uh, can you tell us what you do? Yeah, well, I am um, the festival director of VR Day, so that means that I uh, make the program, I select the speakers, uh, and I oversee, well, the, the whole project. So uh, everything that's going on in VR Days. Um, and that's my job. So uh, I've worked all year just for three days. Of <laughs> Okay, and can you tell us uh, something about VR Days? What can you do over there? So uh, VR Days is, um, uh, is a three-day event where you um, learn a lot about VR in all major domains of our society and where VR has a place. So that means um, uh, in, in, in the arts, in media, in healthcare, in enterprise, in gaming. Um, so everywhere where people are using VR, yeah, uh, yeah. and so virtual and augmented reality, um, um, we have speakers about that, about topics, we have experiences, and um, yeah, so that's what you can do. Listen to great speakers, have great experiences, and, uh, and meet peers. Cool, so, it definitely sounds amazing. <laughs> and uh, why are you doing this? What is your goal organizing a VR event like this? Well, I was, um, uh, when I got the VR virus, I think about six, five, six years ago. Yeah. Uh, uh, I was just amazed with the possibilities uh, of this medium. And I wanted to create an event, a place where, uh, which would, help the industry to move move forward yeah. and um, that's why we have a focus on uh, uh, on all these topics because uh, we think uh, well uh, virtual reality is a sort of well everything that happens in normal reality you will find in virtual reality at some point yeah that's true so it's important that we bring all these worlds together and um, and it's also important to bring together, on the one hand, uh, researchers 
and, and virtual reality has been a topic for researchers uh, for many, many years. Um, and even when it was not cool, there were people in the laboratories and people uh, in, in, in groups working on, on, on VR. So there's this group of researchers who meet each other in very specialized events. Yeah. We, we want to reach those. Then you have all the companies that are working in, which have been working in VR for a long time, but also a lot of new companies uh, with young people that uh, do think this is a great new industry they want to discover. So then you have the VR and AR companies, and then you have the business. So uh, uh, the clients or the organizations that are using virtual reality, say, well, if it's um, like a big corporation, like uh, like Volkswagen or Shell, yeah, or, uh, or it's a big organization like the mil military of the or the defense or the police um, or museums. So the clients, the client side. So we, are, 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 it's our our goal to bring together these three groups because we think um, you need to bring these groups together to push the. VR and AR industry, and that's our um, main goal. Yeah, and that sounds amazing, but you're totally right. That's exactly what we need to reach for that. And what is, has been your biggest inspiration in all of this? Like, um, how did you end up doing something for VR? So what is your background with VR? Well, I was uh, trained as an actor. So yeah. I was a stage actor for, um, for, uh, for some years. And, um, and I, I still act. And now and then, but I, I quit my professional acting career um, more than 10 years ago. And then um, when I put on the VR goggles for the first time, for me, it was a little bit like, um, like being on stage. Yeah, <laughs> in different I mean, set. <laughs> yeah, different set. And, and, um, but also the, you know, the, the, the point of view you have when you're on stage, if you're playing a, a play, you're also in a in a virtual world, actually, and uh, and instead of normally the audience watches the screen or the theater play, all of a sudden you were in there. Yeah. And I thought that was exciting, and that uh, and then I wanted to just wanted to find out how you're going to tell stories in this medium. So I started researching it, and then I found out that. Um, that is not new at all, virtual reality, but it's a new wave. And that in, in the healthcare and in other yeah. parts, there was already so much going on. And then I thought, well, let's uh, uh, make an event. Oh, definitely great. Didn't expect that background though. <laughs> really cool. And um, where do you think VR will be in two years? Or like maybe like the VR days, like the company and everything. Well, I think it will just um, keep growing the way it's the way it's grown. Um, meaning, it's it's not exploding. Yeah. This year, next year, or the year after, uh, but it's just a steady growth. Um, and uh, you know, there's still a lot to be discovered and a lot uh, of uh, tech to be developed. Um, and the new the new and exciting tech that's coming. Yeah. Um, also s stops the explosion because then people s think, hey, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to buy some goggles right now because yeah. if I wait, then I have the next generation. And it's that's going so fast, um, uh, these developments, that it's also stopping, the, uh, or maybe not stopping, but slowing down mass adoption. Yeah. I think it there will be a... Uh, I think a little bit faster growth maybe in the next year if you're going to look at enterprise um, adoption, uh, training, stuff like that. I think that will be a, a faster growth than yeah. commercial art applications. I think that will just steadily uh, uh, grow. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, it will steadily grow. But what you say, like, there are so many things being expected and everyone's going to be like, oh, I'll wait until a new headset comes out, until it's cheaper or stuff like that. Yeah. And what so. are your hopes for VR? What, what do you hope 
that will happen in those two years or like what do you want to have at that moment or failure? well my, so my background was in um, uh, in the arts yeah and, um, i always thought and hoped that it would create a new uh, art form uh, a, a new way of, of uh, making art and that's and that's slowly happening yeah, uh, yeah. You know, there's still only a few pieces I think that are are really good enough to be uh, 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 well considered a proper piece of art. Yeah. I can only think of, of of really a couple. The rest, some are really good and nice, but it's all stepping stones. Uh, very good and very well produced, but uh, we're, I think we're getting there. And um, um, so that's my biggest hope to have a seamless experience, a seamless, wonderful experience where nobody yeah. is, is touching me while I'm in the experience to say I have to watch out for this or that, or that I have to look at something to move to the next level. Nobody's pulling a cord, or I'm not pulling my own cord. Uh, but I have a seamless, wonderful experience in here. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> and now going back to the VR days. Yeah. Um, what uh, do you have any recommendations? What people definitely should check at VR days if they go there. Well. So something our viewers should definitely check out if they go there. Is it maybe like everything? Or certain... Check out the Church of VR. So okay. VR is our selection of the best creative content. Um, that's a selection of about 30, 35 pieces we say are top notch. Okay. Which okay. you should also definitely check out um, um, is the, the session on the future of storytelling where we... Oh, yeah where we have people who are really exploring the way we're telling stories in VR. Uh, I think for your um, viewers, um, the location-based entertainment summit, yeah. location-based VR summit is going to so be cool. really, really good because um, location-based VR is also one of the now drivers of VR. Um, and we're going to have some great companies talking about what they're doing, some nice panels, some great companies in the expo, uh, like Tesla Suit or Anti Latency. Yeah. Uh, so you should definitely check out the location-based VR summit. Okay, and I will definitely note that that, uh, that those are the things that I like as well, like like the location-based uh, games and stuff like that. Oh, I love that. Just being able to do everything together in a one big space. That's really amazing. Exactly, and we, and we also have. Uh, a session and that's called virtual embodiment okay and this is really really cool so well the the, the idea is that when you go into a virtual reality experience that you become someone else right yeah um, a lot of times people say yeah then you put on a headset and you feel like this and that person and that's oftentimes that doesn't happen because it's it does require certain steps, and uh, there is some some uh, I say some some science behind that. Yeah. And um, one of the top researchers in this field, Mel Slater, he will do a session about uh, virtual embodiment. Uh, and so that's really a science where you really what's needed to really become another person, and also why would you want to do that? So we also have coming there, Cockney Cockburn, and she's okay. from um, uh, New York, New York from, um, 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 I think, Columbia University, or, um, and she made a project with uh, Stanford where in virtual reality, you become a black teenager in the States. Uh, and then you get arrested by, by some policemen. And the way it's built up, uh, also for um, uh, well, um, um, pale-skinned pale men like me, um, <laughs> it really uh, gives you a sensation of, or a sort of sensation of what it must be like yeah. to, to be that person. And um, 
And so that's really a powerful way of using VR to get across to, to maybe, well, if you put that on every policeman, they might might react different. Differently yeah, that's really true. Next time. So um, that session about virtual embodiment, I would definitely recommend. Because we oh, have yeah. I like that. Yeah. Top there. To be able to experience someone else's experiences, like what they actually yeah. experience themselves. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I like that. And is there any future plans you can share with us? Maybe things uh, are going to change for next year or things that you're thinking about bringing to VR days, maybe? Well, no. Um, well, the, the plan for, for is to see how, how it's going this year. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, to keep a, what we want to do is keep the one year event. Yeah. Uh, and it's our goal to become like the community event for VR and AR. Uh, yeah. To make sure all the people working in the space come there to meet each other, to give high fives, to, to, to exchange um, uh, stories, to do business, uh, to learn about new stuff, to get inspired. And um, so my plan is to really listen to uh, what the audience thinks of VR days yeah. and, uh, and make, it e make it even better next year. But, yeah, no, that's actually a great answer because I think you guys are doing already great because almost everyone in re Europe already knows you. People in America probably as well. Just like everyone knows what VR days is. So for Europe, that's actually a great like event. That uh, shows what VR, AR, MR, everything is. is. Yeah, yeah. So well, I like that. That's, 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 thank you. <laughs> and this in, in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam, just makes it even more amazing. Exactly. You know, you <laughs> experience the great city of Amsterdam. Yeah. Um, and uh, and VR days. So um, I think it's a it's worth a trip. <laughs> For sure. So I have the last question. Um, what is your favorite VR experience? So what's your all-time favorite ex VR experience or game maybe? Something that you always um, mention maybe to people if you talk about VR? Yeah, well, my, my favorite experience, and unfortunately it's not at VR days. So okay. That, it's uh, called VRI. Okay. Yeah, uh, Gilles Jobin, he's a Swiss choreographer. And um, so the piece is like this. You're with uh, five people in a room, about um, five by six meter square room space. Uh, everyone has a headset on and trackers on the hands and on the legs. Okay. And as soon as you put the headset on, it's, it's like you're in a, in a cave. And it's like you're in a, yeah, it's like you're in a cave. And but each person looks a bit weird. So not super super weird, but just a little bit weird. Weird clothes. Uh, I was a, a, a smaller black uh, woman with a, a strange uh, hat on, and someone else was. So everyone looks a bit weird. You change character, and then you're in this uh, room together. In this, say cave you think and then all of a sudden a hand comes and and sort of picks up the um uh the, the side of the of the room and then it goes over and then all of a and then there's a giant holding a, a, like a, a hollow stone with uh, crystals in it like the, the purple crystals and and all of a sudden you realize you were covered by a stone and uh, you're in a big, big desert, and there are these giants in sort of spandex suits, and they and they're very big, and they're about five or six, and they look very friendly, and they're just maneuvering a little bit around you. Uh, you can walk through that space uh, because you, you're not bumping into each other because you're seeing. <laughs> and then these giants, they come and they sort of look at you. <laughs> And then looking really, really friendly, and it's in the desert, and and you see on the top of a hill, you see um, a house. That's the only thing you see. Also, see, and then these giants moving around, and all of a sudden they put a 
like a wall at the edge of the square you're standing. And another wall comes, and another wall, and another wall, and then a ceiling comes. And all of a sudden you're in a house together. And when you look out of the window, you see the desert, you see the small square where you're just standing. And so you change location, but in a very uh, 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 gentle way. Yeah. And then the giants, the same giants, are now people of your own height, and they're also moving in this space. So you, well, they were doing this with the walls, you not only changed location, but you also changed in, in like, uh, the perception of your own body. Yeah. And then uh, sort of a pedestal comes, and on the pedestal are tiny, uh, tiny people, just like, and then you're looking at these tiny people, just like the giants before were looking at you. So, oh. uh, long story short, I thought it was a wonderful experience, and uh, and it played with so much with, um, yeah, with the scale, and it was friendly, and it was uh, totally lost myself there. That sounds really nice. Where did you do this experience? I did it um, in, um, in Sundance, at Sundance. Okay. And is it something that we can try or is it was it was only for the event? It was, no, it was there at the event. I tried to get it to VR days. Uh, yeah. It's, but it's touring now and we, um, uh, yeah. We, unfortunately, we, we, didn't, we didn't get it. So I'm sorry if I made everyone excited. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, no, we want to try it out. Maybe next year, who knows? <laughs> yeah, but we have many, many great experiences. Yeah, I totally believe that. Now, thank you so much for your time, Benjamin. That was actually the last question. Okay. And uh, yeah, thanks for answering all of them. And uh, yes, for your time again. Well, that was the interview. Thank you so much, Benjamin, for your time. And if you guys have any questions, just drop them down below in the comments because we're still going to view artists and maybe we'll be able to ask him a few more questions. Will we dare? Yeah, but or, we are there. Or maybe <laughs> there's something that is on VR that you would like us to check out. We will definitely do yes, that for you as so. well. Yes. Let us know down below. Just let us know down below. And as always, if you want to explore more virtual reality with Cass and I, slam that subscribe button. And uh, for now, I'll say. We are Cass and Cherry VR, and we say VR on.